Welcome back to the channel. So today we're diving into the new open source large reasoning model from Alibaba, Marco01, which uses the same chain of thought technique as O1 from OpenAI. We're going to test it in several areas, coding, logic and reasoning, math, and retrieval augmented generation. Let's start with a quick introduction to the model. Marco01 is a 7 billion parameter model developed by the Alibaba International Digital Commerce Group. It's fine-tuned with a COT dataset and some self-developed synthetic data. They've also integrated MCTS to expand the solution space and added a reflection mechanism to enhance reasoning. So, we're going to see how well it does in all these areas. All right, now let's get started with the installation. Let's grab the Q4 version, which is the one selected by default. We're going to run it on my system, which has an RTX 4060. Let's set it up. Let's do a quick coding test. We'll ask the model to write the code for a snake game. So it gave us the code. Let's run it. It looks like the game is working, but there are these white grid lines that kind of mess with the design. Still, it's a working snake game, so we're off to a good start. Moving on to the main tests. We'll ask the model to write a Python script that lets the user upload a WAV file and convert it to MP3. As you can see, it's generating a thought process going through the query to solve it correctly before giving us the output. So it gave us the code, so let's try it out. It's working. Pretty impressive. Next up, we'll test it with a Python code for a calculator with a proper graphical user interface. We ask it to include all the buttons for numbers and operations. It gave us the code, and now let's run it. And yes, it works. We can do some calculations on it and everything checks out. Total pass. Let's go back to the snake game for a sec. We'll ask the model to write the game again, but this time we're hoping it doesn't include the grid lines. And yep, the grid lines are back. I'm not sure why it uses them. But interestingly, this version of the game has a different mechanic. This time, you lose the game if you collide with yourself. Now for some logic and reasoning. We're going to ask the model this classic puzzle. You have eight identical balls, but one is slightly heavier. What's the minimum number of weighings needed to find the heavier ball? The model gave us an answer, but it's incorrect. That one didn't pass. Let's try another one. John and Mark are in a room with a ball, a basket, and a box. John puts the ball in the box, then leaves for work. Mark takes the ball from the box and puts it in the basket, then leaves for school. 
They both come back later in the day. Where do they think the ball is? The model gave us the correct answer here. Next up, we have a pattern recognition puzzle. We give the model the sequence KBJ, LCK, MDL, and NEM, and ask it what comes next. A lot of open source models struggle with this kind of pattern recognition. That was impressive. The thought process clearly helped, and the model gave us the right answer. Here's another classic. Five people, Wayne, Jack, Ralph, Max, and Peter, are all busy in a room on a winter afternoon. Wayne is reading, Jack is playing chess, Ralph is folding clothes, and Max is painting. What is Peter doing? The model got this one wrong. It didn't correctly figure out that the other person should be playing chess too. So this one's a miss. Let's throw in a math problem. A store has a buy two, get one free offer on t-shirts priced at $15 each. How much would you pay for seven t-shirts? The model did the calculations, but it got the answer wrong. So, no pass here. Here's another one. Lisa stays at a hotel for three nights. The room rate is $100 per night, with a 5% tax and a $15 cleaning fee that is untaxed. What's the final cost of Lisa's stay? The model gave the correct answer. $330. Let's try another simple one. Ravi ranks 12th from the top and 40th from the bottom in class. How many students are in the class? The model gave the correct answer. 51. Another pass. Now let's test the model's retrieval augmented generation capabilities loading info from our website about the AI solutions we provide. We'll ask... Do you offer any AI solutions that could benefit me as a lawyer? And since we don't have any AI solutions specifically for lawyers, let's see how it does. So the model pulls up relevant solutions like RAG, analyzes them, and gives us a solid answer. Nice work. Next we ask, I run a call center. What would you recommend? The model once again analyzes the question and provides a well thought out answer. Another solid response. Here's a different one. What solutions do you offer for the medical industry, and how could they benefit me? Once again, the model pulls out relevant solutions, analyzes them, and gives a strong response. This model really shines in RAG tasks. Lastly, we'll ask, what solutions do you offer? The model gives us a detailed list of solutions. Everything checks out. Overall, Marco 01 is a really promising model. We saw some great performance in coding tasks, reasoning, and RAG capabilities. It's clear that with some fine-tuning, this model could be a great tool for real-world applications. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this test interesting. See you in the next video.